Hi, these comments are for NU and I am Michael from OTC, OnlineTOEFLCourse.com. And you're doing, it looks like, some speaking practice. I think integrated speaking practice, right? So uh, I'm getting ready to listen to your practice test right now. So let's see how you did. The reading passage discusses method of loci, which is a special technique used to recall information in a particular order. In the lecture, professor gives an example of a boy who tr uses this technique to remember the names of planets. And in his example, he mentions that when the boy is uh, trying to learn the names of the planets based on their distance from the sun, the boy mainly assigns a landmark to each of a planet. So starting from the dormitory to student center, each landmark stands for a planet. For instance, the front door of the dormitory it stands for Mercury, which is uh, the closest uh, planet to the sun. And this way, when uh, he writes uh, the names of the planets on the examination day, in his imagination, he takes a familiar walk through all these landmarks, which uh, make him recall all the names of the planets in a particular order. Okay, so maybe which help him, not make him, which help him recall the information in a particular order. Uh, I think it's a good response. I'm not sure if you're going to get, if you will get a, a 26. I'm going to put you at, I'm going to say 24 to 26 points on this. I think it's close. I think you had some minor delivery issues in there, made it a little bit difficult to understand a few things, but overall, it's a pretty good response. Let's listen one more time. The reading passage discusses method of loci. Which that, that I'm not quite sure what you're saying. The method of loci? Which is a special technique used to recall information in a particular order. In the lecture, professor gives an example of a boy who tr uses this technique to remember the names of planets. And okay, good. So, probably don't worry about planets. Just say the, the, in the, the reading passage discusses a technique used to remember information in a certain order. And then the speaker in the lecture gives an example of a boy who uses this technique to recall information. And in his example, he mentions that when the boy is uh, trying to learn the names of the planets based on their distance from the sun, the boy mainly assigns a landmark to each of a planet. So to, I would just say each planet, not each of planets. If you say each of, you have to say each of the planets. So starting from the dormitory to student center, each landmark stands for a planet. Well, wow. starting from blah, blah, blah to each. That was very good sentence structure right there. I love when you don't always put the subject first. So you use that participial phrase first. Then you place your subject and your verb there. That, it's really good syntactic variety. No question. For instance, the front door of the dormitory it stands for Mercury which is uh, the closest uh, planet to the sun. So I would just say is Mercury, comma, the closest planet to the sun. So part of the reason I'm not going to put you at 26 to 30 is you sometimes have pauses and you're taking a little bit too long to get your ideas out. So you have to get a little bit more fluid with your ideas and that means longer thought groups of four or five stress syllables then you have a pause another four or five stress syllables another pause so your thought groups sometimes are a little bit too short right so go to pronunciation lessons 41 through 44 to learn more about what i'm talking about i know what i'm saying is a little bit technical but but that is a problem and that's exactly what you need to do to speak a little bit faster with more fluidity of expression and this way when uh, he writes uh, the names of the planets on the examination day in his imagination, he takes a familiar walk through. This is brilliant. He takes a walk through. I love that metaphor. That was very effective to describe 
how the boy uses the technique. All these landmarks which uh, make him recall all the names of the planets in a particular order. Good. So I really believe on this one, I mean, you're very close to a breakthrough. You're not there exactly yet, but I'm going to say 24 to 26 only. There's only one reason I'm not going to say like 25 to 27 or 26 to 28. The main reason is I have to look at delivery in the four. Speech is generally clear, fluid, and sustained. But then you have speech is generally clear with some fluidity of expression, but minor difficulties with, and in your case, it's pacing. And I had a little bit of trouble with your intelligibility in the beginning. So that's why I'm putting you at 24 to 26. And not going to go really any higher than that. All right, thank you for completing this practice.